uh, part of the solution. So you look at this equation, this equation includes high Z and E Z and delta Z. Uh, so in the most important portion is the calculation of I Z, which is the depth of influence factor. So you have two options depending on the length to uh, width ratio of the footing. So if the L divided by B, the length to width ratio is less than 10, you use this table. If it's larger than 10, you use this table to come up with this uh, graph of IC versus depth. For example, if you were uh, L and B are equal to each other, let's say it's a square footing, let's call this four feet. So I have this little MATLAB code <coughs> that does the calculation. Let's say B is four feet, L is four feet. And let's say depth, uh, depth TF is about two feet, and we have a hundred ton of load here, and let's say time, time, time is this, and gamma dry is this, and um, this is just intermediate variable. One thing I'd like to show is when I run this code, uh, automatically, so it will create the graph for I Z versus depth for me. You see this I Z versus depth is created. Uh, it is based on this particular table. When Z is equal to zero, I Z is 0 0.1. So this actually number is equal to one. If you look at this uh, carefully, this is one. Uh, when Z is equal to half of B, in this case, uh, B was four feet, half of B is two feet, so at two feet, the value corresponds to two feet is 0 0.5. So the IZ is actually 0 0.5 here. And when Z is twice B, which is right here, IZ goes back to zero. So this is the graph for this particular case. Let me close this and let me make uh, L 10 times, more than 10 times, let's say it's 45 feet by four feet. So L divided by B is four, uh, 10, more than 10. In that case, it should use this table. If I run it, then you can see now the graph is different. Uh, so the, the t this they look similar, but it's not the same. If you look at the vertical axis, so L divided by B is greater than so when Z is equal to zero, now I Z is zero point two. So this value is right here zero point two. So it's not zero point one. So when I, as Z is e Z is equal to zero point five right here. And when z is equal to 4 times b, b is 4, 4 times 4 is 16. So you, see, you have this plot uh, here. So if you notice, now there are little crosses right in the middle of each sublayer. As, um, as you probably know, we need to divide this into multiple sublayers like this. Every two feet, every one feet is good. So like for each sublayer, you find the middle, iz in the middle. Of that sub layer. So in this case, 0 0.275 is for this layer, 0 0.425 is for this layer, and so on. So you find the IZ at the center of each sub layer, and you also plot the, the change in uh, modulus with depth to find the, uh, the mean modulus at the center of each, each layer, like this. And then once you find those two, you actually plug them into this equation. So I Z for each layer divided by E Z for each layer times the delta C for each layer. So you do that for each layer and essentially add them up. So that's what um, this example is showing. Essentially, if you have multiple sub layers, 